get off over here. <laughs> Come on. When she was born, she had delays and problems. Uh, she wasn't able to feed or hold her head up or sit up or roll over, things your typical child would normally do. She was uh, two years old before I found out that she was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and the doctor didn't tell me that. Um, I had re requested her medical records for a second opinion um, because I wanted to know what was wrong with my child and when I received the records in the mail, the doctor had written in her records that she had cerebral palsy, but he failed to tell the mother because I was only 18 and he didn't think that I could handle the news of my child having cerebral palsy at that time. By the time I'd had my second child, Marie, uh, we were visiting with a regular routine medical checkup with a doctor and he advised me at that time that I should place Brandy in an institution because now I had a normal child and I needed to focus on her and not worry about the other child. Regardless of the advice that I received from uh, multiple doctors, I saw something in Brandy that other people didn't see. Um, so I would spend my days and in intensive hours of doing therapy with her. Over the years, I you know, continued to work hard because I saw that there was, you know, a person there more than just the physical limitations that she had. Through the school years, I battled with the school systems, um, wanting to place Brandy in, um, in their inclusive classrooms for children with special needs. Um, they placed her in a TMH class, which uh, was considered teachable and mentally handicapped at the time. And I fought really hard to get her mainstreamed in regular classrooms because she was reading before she was age two from a book. And, um, you know, she's, she's an extremely intelligent person, and that wasn't the place for her. Um, it took many battles, um, contacting a lawyer to get her mainstreamed into a classroom. We the school. understand why people treated my sister differently. To me, she was just my older sister. We fought, we shared secrets, we would play together. She would get me in trouble. She was my older sister. And I got into a lot of fights with kids when I was younger because they would make fun of me and call my sister retarded. So I would punch him. Look at 
chickens. Look at that rooster. Can't see it. Only in Harnett County. I said only in Harnett County. I hate when people stare at her when we go out. It makes me really angry and a lot of times I'll get in arguments with people because they're just staring. How would you feel every time you went out in public and somebody just stared at you as you were walking? Their, their heads followed you. I mean, do they not think that, oh, what if I'm making this person feel bad?